Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model this. So, uh, as you can see, it can be closed and it can be open. Okay, so let's let's start. So, um, actually, today uh, we are going to model one piece of this, and we are going to use an uh, adaptive family and also we'll we will make it um parametric so can, you can change the size okay so let's start so first create a adapt generic model adaptive and first we're going to place one point anywhere and make it adaptive so now uh, we're going to uh, if I go back to that, so um, let me just do a screenshot of this piece. Okay, so oh, maybe how do this? So this. So um, this is the shape. Okay, so from uh, the top. So if you look at it from the top, this will be the shape. And and so first point will be this one. Okay, so this is the first point. And then from this point, we're going to offset and place all the rest of the points. So now let's do first one, and we're going to do this one and this one. So go back to Revit. So place another point, draw a word plan, set word plan, and pick this word plan, this one, and place it on the point. And then select select this point, drag it that way, and then place another one, set the same word plan, and place it on point one, and drag it this way. So now we're going to create a parameter. Let's call it a uh, now, let's call it W1 uh, instance, OK, and OK. So this one will be negative W1. So let's call it W1 negative instance, OK, and OK. And then go to family types, negative uh, W1 negative equals negative W1, and OK. So now we have these two. So now go back to this image. Oh, sorry, this one. And of course, we need the height. Okay, so height from this and height from this. So let's do it. So place a point, draw a word plan, set a word plan, pick the horizontal word plan, and place it on this point. And again, set word plan place the point and these two so select this one drag it up select this one drag it up so select these two points and we can create a, a h height of a height parameter let's call it h1 instance okay okay so now we have um oops wrong one now we have these two points okay and then we need uh this point okay so this point so for this point and another one here so we are, we will need a point here so offset from this point to here and then offset from this point to these two okay so now let's do it so point draw word plan set word plan pick this word plan place it on one and select this point drag it this way so we will need a a parameter to control this so um, let's call it so we have this direction as width maybe we call this one uh depth okay so we call, uh, let's create a depth parameter let's call it d1 instance okay and okay and then we need to create two points on this a point so pick this vertical word plan place on the point and then select this one drag it this way and place another one set word plan place it 
place it on the point. Let's place uh, drag it this way. So for this one, we're going to create a uh, W2 parameter. So this one will be uh, W2 negative instance. Okay. So go to family types, W2 negative equals negative W2. So, okay. So now we have um, these two, and then we will need this one. Okay. Uh, on Just need to have the height. So offset from these two points, we, could, we can get these, those, uh, these two. So go back to Revit. So you can, so if I rotate this, you can tell the relationship between all these points, all right? Okay, so place a point, draw a word plan, set word plan, pick the horizontal word plan of this point, and place it on the point. Another one, set word plan, place it on the point. Okay, so select these, uh, let's drag this up, and this one, drag this up. Select these two and create a, so this time H2 instance. Okay, okay. So now we have, let me drag this up a little bit. Okay, so now we have all these points and then we just need last two. So one is the same level roughly here and the other one will be up there. So two points, so one, two. So the uh, the one at the same level, we can just offset from um, maybe from this one. So you can you can use this one or either either this one or this one. So let's um, let's just use this one. So pick the so this one. Pick this work plan. Not this one. Tab tab. So this one and place it on this point and dra drag it that, that direction. And then, so uh, for this one, we will need a, let's call it a D2, D2 instance, okay, and okay. And then place another point, set word plan, and place it on the point. And then select this point, drag it, up. So this one will be uh, H3. So let's create a parameter. Let's call it H3 instance. OK and OK. So now we have all the points we need. All the points. OK. And then we can create some face. So uh, let's quickly do it. Um, so depending on Oh, that's okay. We can just create some reference line first. So one, two, spline. Uh, one, two, spline. We will do the reference line uh, all together. So I'll just create all these uh, spline, spline first and check the box later. Okay, so all these and um, I think we will need this and we will need um, this one to this one and this one to this one i think that's all we need so select all these reference oh sorry not reference line model line check the is reference line option so they become a reference line then we can place a create face so for example this face create create and pick the face option so place let's try see if we can create this at once yes good so now we can create this one and just, uh, this one create a face pick this face so this is this is it so if you look at this so yeah and then we um we need to okay so the next step is we need to do some formula 
as formula for them so we can control uh, the shape the size of it okay okay so now let's uh, let's have a look at this shape so um, eventually so we will have eight one two three four five six seven eight eight of this uh, family so which means this angle will be I'll just do a screenshot of this so it will be um, be so this will be one of that and then we will have another seven so altogether eight of them which means 360 divided by 8 equals 45 degrees so we need to make sure so this angle is always a 45 degree okay so um, so now let's go back here so because currently all these points are just uh, offset from either this one or this one so it's uh, not related so the angle can change so what we need to do is we just need to add up some formula to those points so make sure so when we change so for example change this point the the width of this will change as well accordingly so always keep this angle to be 45 degree so um, and also before I do that I just want to eventually we are going to use a uh, we are going to use one of these uh, dimensions one of these dimensions so I, I think most likely uh, we will use the distance between this point to this point to control the the mm, the size of this family so um, so which means because count uh, previously we we place the offset this point from this so which I think is not good so I'm going to change this okay so select this point I'm going to change the work plan of this point from this point to this uh, adaptive point so I'm going to use pick and pick the this work plan okay so now this point is offset from the adaptive point and I'm going to link it back to D2 so now D2 can be used to control this family and so now we just need to link um, link every all these uh, parameters all the other uh, length parameters back to D2 so we can use T2 to control all the rest of these parameters uh, together okay so first just let's fix uh, this angle so if I do a screen sh oh yep we already have this one so I'll just so this angle need to be 45 degree which means if I cut if I do draw here and if I draw to here back to here 90 degree so this is oh terrible <laughs> so this is d2 right we just change that and then this one is d1 so this one is d2 minus d1 and because this angle is 45 degree so this will be half of the 45 degree so which is 22.5 so in this triangular shape we know that uh, the we can oh so we can get this so this is w2 so we can get uh, tangent 22.5 equals w2 divided by this okay so d2 minus d1 so we can get w2 equals tangent 22.5 times d2 minus d1 so 
now we can use D2 to control the W2. So go to family types. Under W2, we can just uh, put in the formula bracket D2 minus D1 bracket times tangent bracket 22.5 bracket. So now if I click apply and OK. So now if I do a dimension angle, so you will say it's 45 degree. Okay, and then if we change this, so D2, so if we move this point, and you will see the width of this family will change as well. And the angle will always uh, stay at 45 degree. Okay, so now the rest, so we just need to uh, make all just create a, a formula for all the, the other parameters. So, but before that, I want to adjust the shape. So maybe increase the height here, increase here. So roughly get the shape, right? So now let's go to family types. So um, maybe let's, Let's change this to roughly 1200, 12 uh, meter. So it's easier for us to roughly uh, get the formula. So um, D1, D1's roughly three. Maybe we can use D2 minus four. Oh, sorry, minus, <laughs> divide by four, sorry. Yeah, I think apply roughly or I want it to be smaller, uh, divide by five. And H1, it's about one meter. So D2 divided by 12. H2 is roughly two meter. So it will be D2 divided by six. H3 is, uh, uh, sorry. Um, three meter, so it'll be roughly D2 divided by four. Um, w1 is about two meter as well, it'll be D2 divided by uh, six. In all, you, you can always, uh, you can always change the, them if you want to adjust the shape. So I think that's about that's okay. So now let's uh, try this. So now you can see you can you can keep the shape, but you can change the size. Okay. So that's 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 it. That's the first part of this exercise. So one of this panel, and tomorrow we will place this onto. Uh, uh, an opening and we will play with some uh, we can make it open and close okay so see you tomorrow bye